This episode is brought to you by Paramount Plus. Ewan McGregor stars as Count Alexander Rostov in A Gentleman in Moscow, the new limited series based on the best selling novel. Stream it with the Paramount Plus with Showtime plan. Visit ParamountPlus.com to try it free. You don't want to move it towards you? Like right there? Alright. Hey everybody, y'all come on in. I'm not even gonna lie. I ain't feeling it today. Y'all see my face. <laughs> I'm not. Um, it's been a lot going on in the world and we're gonna get into it a little bit more um, later. I wrote it down and I do have some stuff pulled up on the computer that I do wanna read um, straight off the computer because I don't wanna miss anything. And um, it's, you know, stop gun violence today. And um, I want you guys to know that Listen, it doesn't always have to, um, you know, end with a gun. It doesn't always have to, hey, love you. It doesn't always have to, you know, you don't always have to have that. It's, uh. So let's get started. Come on in. Share the live. Let's get it. It's for the couch chronic, couch chronic, where there ain't no fucking limits, 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 limits. Every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 8 Central Time, you don't never want to miss a couch. Trust me, it ain't no fucking limits. I said none. Period. Hey, hey. Just be great or thin. I know the people that surround me keep it real. Cause half the 
ones I keep around, I'm headed to jail. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate the hood, cause it taught me how to hustle. Went through some hard times when I was down. And my knuckles, I appreciate the ones who stuck around, just know I love you. I appreciate the long days in the trap. Appreciate the road every time I made it back. I appreciate the hard ten in that white. Another player with me, he don't appreciate his life. He don't appreciate his life. Provoked. That's provoked violence. We talking about <laughs> unprovoked violence tonight. Yes, exactly. I love you too. Thank you so, so much. Um, if y'all don't know our story, we met actually in prison. So, um, and I knew from the time she hit the yard that she was, she was my wife. She yeah. didn't know. She didn't know. But it's all good because she know now. Okay. And uh, she ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, you squeezing my leg a little hard now. Oh, we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> this is the love of my life. My everything. Oh, is that Miss Carr? Hi, y'all. Yes. What's up? Yes. Right. Will, what's Leanne, up, my boy? Tell Leanne we love her, too. Anna, what's up? Yes, shout Anna out to everybody Morris. that's watching from prison. I love y'all so much. Shout out to Ashley Parnell, Baby Jessica, Lisa Adams, all LA. our peoples. Listen, we love y'all so much, and I know y'all get to see sometimes. So, I got something special for y'all um, coming soon. Um, Prison Talk is coming up. And um, anybody that's watching from the yard, if you're scared to do the podcast because um, you don't want to risk getting a misconduct, um, you can send me a video um, or you can let me know that you want to do it. I'll send you questions. You answer the questions. Do a transcript. Mm -hmm. No, the way I'm gonna do it is yeah. you send the question. I'm gonna send you you send answer the answers. questions in the video. Really? I'm gonna distort your video. No, I'm gonna distort your face oh, and wow. I'm gonna put them all together. Right. You know, and then oh, I'm shit. gonna put myself in asking right, the questions. Right. You going Oh, you get you going to the you doing yeah. some things. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna record myself asking the questions, um, and they're gonna answer it. And, but I'm going to have their face distorted. Y'all remember back in the day when, um, you know, people used to get on um, TV and they used to tell their truth. They used to have a dark room. Bruh, it, remember dark that? room. The person used to be dark. You right. And they used to have things like, like oh, when you oh, came into the room. Right. Remember, Man. we all used to think they had that hole in their neck, but they didn't. Yeah. yeah they wasn't crazy. smoking cigarettes. It was just a uh, voice changer. So I'm going to do it like that. And, um. <laughs> yeah. My wife's name is Janae. That's my baby. Yeah, That's dang. why I look at her like that. <laughs> dang, I forgot I'm on camera. Right. <laughs> I love the way you look at me. You do? Yeah. That's what's up. So, yes. Uh, <laughs> distraction. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me. Uh, Gun violence. Yeah. That's where we at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, happy Monday. This week has been... Whew, like, I'm, I'm emotional today. I'm very emotional. Um, you know, gun violence is very, 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 very big. And y'all know I started a gun violence segment. Gun violence, the story, um, usually the story behind the victims. But um, I took the story or I, I left the story on because, and I took the, you know, um, um, behind the victims. But what about the people that's, you know, reading it from the outside looking in? You know, we feel a type of way as well. So um, I took that off uh, and I just, I want to be able to share any story about gun violence, whether I have the victims' families or not, I want to be able to share the stories because it, it, it breaks my heart as well. I don't have to know the person to, to have tears rolling down my face as if I knew them yesterday. Like, it hurts me. You know, it hurts me that um, we losing so many people. I don't care that they're not black. I care that a person lost their life. Man. And um, that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, a little bit later. I know I'm getting emotional already. So um, did you guys check on your strong friends? Check on your strong friends. Did you? Make sure you check on your strong friends. Thanks. Your, your everyday friends. Even your associates. Check on your peoples. Let them know that you fuck with them, that you love them, that you care about them, that you're still thinking about them. Anybody that's locked up, write them. I'm not saying put money on their books, but write them. The holidays is coming up. It gets even harder in prison when the holidays is coming up. And the reason why I say that is because some of them have kids. They can't get to their kids. Some of them have, like, some of them have a phone. 
and they can see what we doing out here and they like, oh my God, I yeah, wish I could do that. Facts, it's real. You know, but they can't really say anything because, you know, they just want to be able to see. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's hard. I remember those times every day, you know. There's times where um, you can have a flashback about something that you thought you was over mm. today. Facts. And, and it happens like that. And you just have to learn how to deal with it and, and not be offended. Don't be offended if somebody around you is having a flashback. Flashbacks are fucking real. They are. It's fucking real. You cannot be upset. And, and it happens. So shout out to the ones that's staying strong. And shout out to the ones that's even having weak moments. Because it, it's not easy. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And I'm sending positive vibes, love, and energy your way. From both of us. Yeah. Um, tomorrow's Halloween and my guest is going to be wearing a costume. So, yeah. Man, you didn't even tell me. I be yeah. having surprises all the time. Yeah. I live with her. I don't know if you know what the couch is going to do. I be tuning in like. <laughs> <laughs> so my guest will be wearing a costume and I will too. You never know what I'll be wearing. You never know. Mm -hmm. I love you too, Alicia. Shout out to Queso Bobby. I see you. Queso, Shout Queso. Shout out to everybody. I see y'all watching. What it do? Um, right. Alicia, <laughs> hey. So, you know, um, we're going to be dressed up and lit tomorrow. I'm not even going to tell y'all who he is because I can't pronounce his name all the way. Um, and I did the, the first time. But today... Yeah, we ain't gonna know. do it. I ain't finna Cause you know this video live forever. Don't don't do it. Right, don't do it. Right, I do know the reasons part, so we will see. Reasons. Don't judge me if you watching, bro, bro. We gonna make it up to you tomorrow. I promise. Oh, we gotta find out where promise. she at. She talking. I'm getting out candy. I'm coming. Hey, is it vegan friendly? Okay, okay. I know. Listen, y'all. I'm vegan. I'm super vegan. I look at every. Am I lying? Man, I be starving y'all sometimes because I be look like, at nothing everything. <laughs> I look at everything. I be like, ah, nah, that's that was in the same facility as milk. I be reaching for it like, baby, we can't eat this. She be like, nope. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super vegan. Now I don't have cheat days like some people. I don't. I was only constipated because they bribed me at work with a. Uh, First of all, the cheese gonna make you constipated, okay? And. Ugh. All right, y'all, cheese, cow pus, in a hard form, shaped like a square. Okay, we, we don't a, need to hear all that. Okay, okay, okay. People, people don't need, they ain't here for that. <laughs> <laughs> October is literally over after tomorrow. It is. You know what that means? November. Beans, greens, potatoes, potatoes, no, man, <laughs> ram, chicken, turkeys, <laughs> you name it. Actually, for us, it's going to be tofu. Huh? Right. Wow. But what it means is prison talk is right around the corner. Prison talk <laughs> is November 6th, 7th, 9th, and 10th. Okay, so yeah, if yeah. you... <laughs> okay, my bad. I thought you were talking about Thanksgiving. Prison talk, yes. <laughs> so if you would like to talk about your time on the yard, you know, and what you're doing now, even if you was an officer and you are not an officer now... We want to hear. Mr. Atembe, excuse me. Uh, uh, <laughs> hold on, <a> Joby. <laughs> oh, yeah. If Ola get on here, y'all, we going to go viral. Miss D, you know who I'm talking about. We going to go, ooh, what about that lady that fell on her way, uh, her big Stop. ass? What was her name? Stop. If we get no, Miss King, that's my baby. Don't do her. Man, Don't King, do it, but, but you see, she, she fell, fell right. Up. We talking about God. Let me get your beer, please. Cause the way, yeah. Oh, you what? You know what? Is. When your woman is at the bar or anywhere with y'all, y'all, and she says that she's not drinking and you're getting a drink, get two. Always get two. Because I'll be like, let me hit that real quick. Always like. get two. Two blunts, two pieces of tofu, two spoons of this, two cans of that, two glasses of that. Because I'm telling you baby, now. Cause Cause why can't I? Like you, it's you just can. a little hit. I don't no, want you can. Cause you know how sometimes we don't want you the can. whole thing, and we be like, "Hey, right. Linda," you and we be like, "Nah, we uh, nah, I just." Oh yeah, Linda, big Linda, what's up, baby? Okay. Big ups. Yeah. So, you know how sometimes you don't want to drink a whole thing or something, nah. and you just be like, "I'm just gonna hit it a couple times." Nah, they didn't want it until they see you enjoying it, smacking your lips over there. Coming. I mean, cause why they making it look so good? 
That man, yeah, you right. Yeah, so share. You Sharing right. is caring. It's caring. It's the Cash Chronicles, and it, it ain't, ain't no fucking limits. limits. Period. That's the right. Fuck? Hey, no. <laughs> I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from A Central to <laughs> Make sure y'all follow Couch Chronicles No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, T H A Couch on Facebook and TikTok. You Couch Chronicles dot No Limits on Instagram. Oh, wait, T-H-A couch on Big O as well. Big O, I'm so sorry. Big O, T-H-A? Oh, yeah, y'all with the Negro spelling, y'all. Hey, hey. T-H-A couch on, on Big O as well. Shout out to the ones that got Big O, and they actually watched me on Big O as well. Facts, they I in got, here. I actually they have. They in um, here, bro. <laughs> Look at them. They in here. They beating y'all, bro. Yeah, they are. They up in the 70s, nigga. First of all, shout out to Big O, because y'all always show me love Facts. since I've been on Big O with the podcast. The, the the messages, the love that I get in the comments, the hearts. I definitely appreciate y'all. Y'all are not forgotten. I appreciate y'all for real. Everybody that's watching everywhere else that's listening on um, Spotify and Pandora, I appreciate all the love. I actually sh- um, wrote this down. Shout out to all my couch potatoes that is consistently keeping up with the couch. Facts. So I've come up with a name for y'all. And if you don't like it, guess what? Oh, well, man. Y'all couch potatoes, like... Like, fuck with it. Right. Like, if you want to shout couch, out to, you looking. Shout out to all my couch potatoes. Hey, I love y'all so CP, much. CP, we here. Trust me when I say this year, is it's not going to end the way you think it's going to end. Oh, it's not? It's not. I'm getting my taxes. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's yeah. over with. <laughs> it's not going to end the way you think it's going to end. I know you always keeping up, baby girl. Thank you so much. It's not. Like, expect a major blessing. Okay. I don't know. I'm telling you, like, it's literally... It, I don't know where that just came from. I did not write this down. It just I came out. In the air. But just expect something major to happen. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but something major is going to happen in your life. And the reason why I say that is because to you it might be bad, but but in, in your life it really might be good. It, it might be something elevation. that you really needed yeah. to get the fuck That's rid true. of. Yeah. See it for what it is. And it just seems like it's bad because you're like, oh, my God, I got history with this motherfucker. No. Sorry, it's time. I'm telling you, at the, the, the end of this year, something big is going to happen for you. you. Whoever's watching, on my couch potatoes, something big is going to happen. I promise you. I, I I don't know where it came from. It just came out. So I'm, I, It may seem bad, but it's really good. Yes. You get good out of it. Yes. Yeah. I love y'all. Let's get into another song. And th- I know this song don't have anything to do with gun violence. Um... But if but, you participate in gun violence, this is where you're gonna be at. Actually, you know what? Song. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? So I get, am gonna actually play. So, um, <laughs> are you trying to talk about? You talking about which one? You talking about time? No, which? Oh, I, I might be wrong. I'm be... <laughs> <laughs> no, let's do time. No, which one was you gonna play? Because all of them are gonna hit. <laughs> Foolish. Foolish. Oh. Sh- <laughs> Oh my god, this What? Because <laughs> they foolish if they participate in gun violence? <laughs> oh shit. So, okay, I'm about to go type in. Oh, okay, baby, can you type in Tom? I'm gonna type you in. You already. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's tuned in. I love y'all. It's the Couch Chronicles. And it ain't, ain't no fucking, fucking limits. limits. Okay? I'm gonna fix on Yes! yes. <laughs> Giving up the music to me straight off the front line, I'm not lying. I'm watching my mama cry up in that courtroom. Then the judge just dismissed me like I was dumb too. Then the bailiff looked at me like, What you gon' do? My mind is fucked up, so all I'm thinking is I'm gon' shoot. Then reality set in like it was supposed to. Cat calls down the hall, that's what them folks do. Brown bag bologna sandwich in them jumpsuits. My cellmate just did a hundred years on some dumb shit. Damn. Is this the end of the days? Cause living in a cell is just like being in a grave. If ain't no money on your books, then you ain't eating shit. You better pray that you can mail a penitentiary gift. But I'm lonely, Jamie's a visitation list. From your family and your friends, that's a major lift. Yeah, yeah. Spirit, 
All the drama on the yard, you wanna forget it. Yeah, yeah. Behind these walls is different, and you wouldn't understand if you didn't live it. Ayy, big slime, I did big time. Ayy, and they took me out the front line. I'm still scarred from doing my time. And everybody said I should let go. I'm trying, but it is something to my mental. In or out the pin, you know I stand ten toes. You know, now you know. I hold on. And I know I gotta think different Cause if I don't, then I guess I'll be the same nigga Wait, I'm trying to let it go I'm trying to be a better person So I don't have to get physical I gotta get my mind right But I'm right. I don't care who doesn't If they don't know the one I'm trying to be an example To my fans and all my peoples And my nieces and my nephews Big slime, I did big time Sitting in the cold cell in the daytime Y'all time be fine, but it's not like the world, no Big slime, I did big time Giving up them years, they tell me straight off the front line, I'm not lying Been watching my mama cry up in that courtroom Then the judges dismissed me like I was dumb too Then the bailiffs looked at me like, what you gon' do? My mind is fucked up, so all I'm thinking is I'm gon' shoot Damn it's just the end of the days Cause women in the cell is just like being in the grave yeah. <coughs> And if you've been there, you know That song still hit me It is like if. being in the grave Because when you in SHU man. Or when you in SAG, you in lock Man, and you ain't got nobody For those that don't know my story I went to prison for shooting a man that raped me But he survived, he was on cocaine it kept his adrenaline pumping, so he has half a face, and he survived. He made it. Now, I'm not saying that he didn't molest anybody else after. Or which did he, he did. Which he did. Allegedly. All I'm saying is this. Diane! I did my time. But sometimes when you in there, even though y'all like, some people be like, oh, well, they did they, they time, they deserve whatever happens in there. No, we don't. Everybody don't. Nobody, I don't know, nobody deserves to be double punished. Like, that's the, like, number one. I'm so sorry, baby girl. Number one. And that motherfucker you, deserved to be double punished. See, there's exceptions. To be taken out. Y'all know who. And be put in, oh my God. Mm. Yeah. Some people don't realize that yeah, being in the cell is just like being in the grave sometimes. When I was in lock, oh, first of all, my mind, I have to stay active. Like, I have to keep, because I don't like to think about stuff that hurt me. I don't like to think, so I like to stay busy. You know, and when I was in prison, I was in the, in the band, and it kept me busy. Not only did it kept me busy, but it kept me around the people that love me the most. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Does um, does um, the, you know, the mentality of, of, I mean, the emotions and what you went through being in prison, does it help you make better decisions when it comes to gun violence? Because I know that you shot the man that raped you. So when, when violation happens in your world, how do you deal with that? Honestly, like, does that help you? Like, knowing what it's like, like, how to choose your battles, what what should be what, like, what deserves the utmost violence and what deserves right. to be like, I'll choose my battles today, I'll walk right. away today. Like, it's not, I'm not, not today, right. you know? Does that help? So, my honest thoughts on that and, and answer on that is, I did my time and I learned how to be a better criminal. I know that sounds fucked up, but no. I did. I don't know what if if I would be able to take somebody raping me again. Right. No. <laughs> I don't know if I would tell you guys, hey, if you get raped today and it's a gun right next to you and the guy's still raping you, I don't know if I can tell you don't shoot him. Right. All I know is this. To be shooting behind something that's non-significant 
gun violence. We got to do But better. protection. Do you guys remember when the young man um, shot and killed this guy? For because his mama? His Bro, come on now. Yeah. That's the type of stuff yeah. to me that it's really not... I can't really be like... Oh, That's how man, it should be. He, That's how it should be. What? And I know they say don't take matters into your own hands. I get that. But y'all have no idea the feelings I got when I seen a man that raped me months later in the gas station. Chilling. Like nothing. And and I just, I didn't, all I knew was I had to follow him. I had to get him back for taking what didn't belong to him. I knew I had to protect myself because nobody else was. I was in DHS custody, and before DHS custody, I mean, I told my brother that was his friend. My brother didn't do anything. And the day that I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I was in his apartment complex, in the car, with the shotgun. And I said, I'm not going to do it. And I looked up. And I see my brother drinking a beer with him. And I lost him. That is what hurt me. And that's, to me, like, I'm not blaming my brother. All I'm saying is, when he didn't, protect me and instead he was drinking a beer with the man I told him did that to me which to this day look what she did oh man that's got to be the worst mm -hmm. where you can't defend yourself right. against you know th that, those are justifiable situations and at this point you do hear about like children even participating in murder yeah you don't know why that kid maybe snap one day it may not even be related to the crime that was committed towards them but something pushed them. You just never know. Like, there's so many broad subjects on gun violence. Mm -hmm. There's so many broad subjects because what's justifiable and what's not. Yeah. But Janelle got a whole list of unjustifiable, like, why? Who? Exactly. For what? These situations that we're talking about, we, we, can, we can name them. Yeah. They're crimes. They're crimes, period. Exactly. They're crimes. Exactly. Bro, you know? And even within gangs, you know what I'm saying? It's like being a soldier. You know, when you join a gang, it's like going to the U.S. Army. You know that at any time, the enemy, whoever it is, ops, whatever you want to call them, you know, they could get you. Mm -hmm. That When you're in enemy, enemy territory, you got to mm -hmm. stay in your own place. You know, unless you get ambushed. But mm -hmm. um, And I'm so sorry if I triggered anybody about talking about, you know, uh, my rape and, and all of that. I, I never meant to... You know, make anybody feel any type of way, you know. And honestly, I did not expect to cry, you know. But when I think about, you know, and I love my brother. That's my dog. Like, we have, we, we, we come a long way. <coughs> you know, I forgave him. And like I said, like, to this day, he still, unless he watches this, which I know you're not. But, you know, to this day, he still don't know that I seen him on the balcony drinking a beer with this man before I shot him. He still don't know. You know, he still thinks that, <laughs> I don't know, whatever he thinks, but, you know, that, it really pushed me over the edge. And, um, maybe if I would have had counseling back in the day, I probably would have responded a little bit differently, but in my way of thinking, in my young mind, I was like, I gotta get this motherfucker. Yeah. And I'm following him? Nah, he gotta go. So, I just have one brother. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. So, that's why I did my prison time. I did it. Um, you know, and I, I was reaching out to my brother, you know, when I was locked up. And that's the main thing that hurt me is that he wouldn't reach back out. And I was like, damn, like, uh, do you know that I know? Or, <laughs> you know, we better now. We talk now, but it took, I've been out six years. It took, what, 
Four, four uh, years? Yeah. Four years before I even we was able, able to, to... Yeah. Because when I got out, I was so mean to my brother. Like, yeah. I was... Mean, not only was I mean to him, but nobody really knew exactly why or what the fuck was my reasoning. Because I, I didn't... I don't know. Even though he did that, I wasn't really ready at the time to share exactly, like, what I seen, what I... I literally sat in prison all that time on the information. I'm sorry. Yeah, had to do the time with that information. Like, you you don't even have access to even handle some of the, you know, ask questions to some of the people that you want to. Like, that's a heavy burden. Yeah. Like, there's people in prison now for the same reason, you know what I'm saying? Um, what about these people, though? So, gun violence is... The main reason why I, I wanted to talk about this today. Over the past, matter of fact, this whole month, this whole month has been a series of mass shootings. I don't know if y'all know this. I don't know if anybody has been paying attention. Thank you. Thank you. I love y'all. I don't know if anybody has been paying attention, but it's been a lot of mass shootings. Started from October the 1st. Yeah, Halloween month. Go figure. And I don't know if anybody remembers when I was talking about... And this is news you can use from the couch. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody remembers when I was talking about um, the full moon <coughs> being the cause of, uh, you know, high crime rates. And I was really, really paying attention this month purposely because I had read that last month. And I had told you guys that on the couch. <coughs> I didn't tell you I was going to do my own research. But I'm I'm trying to be a journalist. So I did my own research for my own reasons. So October the 1st, um, as my wife is pulling it up, um, I do want to remind you guys that November the 20th um, will be the next uh, mental health talk on the couch. So if you're brave enough to share your story, you're more than welcome to share your story on the couch. You can join over the live or you can join um, on the couch if you're in Oklahoma. So um, let me get down to October the 1st. I think it's the third page. Third page? Yeah. Oh, it goes backwards. This yeah. is the most recent. Yeah, yeah, it's the most recent. Got it. Mm, I'll go back a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is... Yeah. It's so many, you guys. Like, Yeah. We're not even in the first. Oh, wow. This is the it's, last 72 hours. Yes, you definitely can. Way. Please do. Listen, I'm sending positive vibes, love, and energy to anybody that's watching. As I'm pulling this up, I am going to play another song for y'all. I'm going to actually pull it up um, from my new album that's going to be dropping soon. Um, I played this the other day, and I played it actually a couple times last week. This is going to be the first song on my album. And it's called Cloudy Days, and it's actually the intro, so. That you was crazy, no you was, no you was, no you was. Now every time you come around, you just be scoping, don't be saying I keep my mouth closed and I just listen. We never been on the same. You can say we different. It's a hard pill to swallow when there's no chasing. So go ahead and crush it. Let me take a toast with y'all. Some days it's cloudy, other another day. You can choose one way, you can fix your way. Life's too short to be playing games But if you sure you gon' make a change I know that you try hard and you gon' be okay Please don't give up cause I promise 
promise you I'll find your way. After the storm is you see it wasn't all for nothing. You see that it wasn't all for nothing. Now, I was going to start from October 1st, but I'm going to actually start from where they... Because they, they, they get to up the, We can't get to October 1st because there's so many deaths on yes. there. It's 30 days. And it's been multiple Today murders. Today is the 30th, and they already have the 30th up here. Bro. Now, if you can actually look this up yourself under gunviolencearchives.org. And um, go. can you go down to the um, next page? Because... Just this, did you guys, just this past week, it's been, I want to say, six or seven mass shootings. Fifteen injured victims right there, Tampa, yes. Florida. Now, from the 29th, let's start from the 29th. Now, October the 29th, Tampa, Florida, 15. two victims, 15 injured. October the 29th, New Orleans, one victim killed. October the 29th in um, Louisiana, one victim killed. October the 29th in Wisconsin, two victims injured. Wisconsin, one victim injured. Virginia, one victim injured. Illinois, one victim injured. Indiana, one victim killed, nine victims injured. Alabama, one victim injured, one victim killed, one suspect killed. Indiana, um, one victim injured. Georgia, two victims killed. Georgia, two victims killed. This is still the 29th. We can't even get to Georgia, that. one victim killed. Read the killed ones because this is No, crazy. no, it's, it's another one in Georgia, one victim killed. Uh, Minnesota, two victims injured. injured. Arizona, one victim injured. I mean, killed. I'm sorry. Um, Georgia, two victims injured. Georgia, one victim killed. Arizona, two victims injured. Florida, two victims injured. North Carolina, two victims injured. This is the same day. This is all Everything the same day. Everything we read day. is the same day. Same day. I haven't even got to the next day yet. We still... This was all October the 29th. The we had to skip the 30th because we couldn't get down the list. The thir And today is the 30th. Today. The day ain't even fucking over, y'all. So, God damn. It's st listen, it's still more on the 29th. Matter of fact, this whole page is still the 29th. 29th. God. I'm not even going to read all of that to y'all. This is still the 29th. This is still the 29th. We, this is one, Tennessee. Tennessee, you should be ashamed. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Nigga. And and you know, are you serious? What? Mr. Back at it said he got a song called Can We Talk? Focus on the situation and more. Mr. Back at it, can you please send it to me? Where's it at? Send because it if email. motherfuckers would really get to the root of a situation, it's one thing y'all beefing and y'all got the I love Mr. Back at it's lyrics. Okay, cool. Like that dog, dog is but, cold. Like that incident, what Janelle was talking about with old boy and the woman at the um at the at the fast food place. Where her son came in and molly whopped that nigga and sent him right to heaven. Anybody can send me a song. Like I just pinned my uh, email. Like, why are y'all out here looking for somebody to kill you? Right. I'm, or even looking to kill people, like... For nothing. For and, nothing. Because and, and they took your bitch or because, because they took your too. woman or because your, your the female that you was with don't want to be with you no more. Thank or you, you got Lillian. some kids and you just want to kill them all and bury them in the backyard. Oklahoma known for that type of shit. Yeah, Oklahoma definitely. Got some I lived up the street ass people bro. from four people that killed in different situations, killed their parents, killed their parents, kids, gun violence. They said you ain't getting no money today. Listen, it can be something simple, but the things that we allow even children to watch and put into their minds. We're allowing them to get fed when they're hungry. And they're eating junk food. <laughs> yeah. It's not healthy for them. I'm still on the 29th. I'm four pages in mm. on just the 29th. 
It's and 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 sometimes we get so caught up in what we do and that we don't get a chance to and I don't have kids, so I don't know, but I see it. I see it. And it's true. You know, it starts there with our children, with the children. Start there. That's actually real. It starts there, man. And we got I, I can't get off the this is twenty. Okay, now we finally at the twenty eighth. But the point of all of this is, and you can, like I said, you can look this up yourself. Mm -hmm. It's so many pages of gun violence. So many, so many lives lost. I do want to take this time out to give a moment of silence to all the lives lost. Long live Kamaje. Long live Kamaje. Every live. life lost, whether it was from breast cancer, whether it was from gun violence, I want to go ahead and take this time out. If you guys are at home and you're listening and you got something playing in the background, please turn it off. I, I know you're probably like, what? Girl, this ain't true. I want to give a moment of silence. I want to give the respect. They deserve that respect. They deserve that. So a moment of silence. It's really, really, really. It's, it's wow. Um, that's that was my friend calling from prison, and um, I can't answer right now because I'm 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 just about finished. But I'm sure she'll call me back later because she'll realize what time it is. But um, it's for people that that feel other people's uh, emotions or energy or any of that, and they seen these mass shootings, I know you feel what I feel right now. I know it's it's like, it it's a, uh, Alicia says she lost her brother to gun violence. Empathy, that's right. Mm. It just, it, it does something to me. You know, when I seen how many pages, when I, when I seen that video of the Halloween shooting, oh my God, like, I just was like, yo, we have to do better. It says, woke up this morning, saw niggas killing niggas. Now he's swearing he a gangster because he done squirreled the trigger. Laughing with his niggas, saying how the blood splattered. Same niggas in a shirt reading BLM, Black Lives Matter. That's that's the. Did you send me that song? Oh, you won't let me get it. That, that's why you sent the piece of the verse. Mm. Now I need to hear it. Right, y'all. If you just now tuning in, it is the Couch Chronicles, and it ain't no fucking limits. I do this every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from eight Central Time. I know it's emotional on the couch, and I do apologize. Tomorrow we're gonna be a little more fun. It's gonna be Halloween. Everybody gonna be dressed up. But today, I, I want to, to talk about gun violence. It's a segment that I started for the couch, and anytime I get a chance, I want to talk about it, even if I don't have the victim's families, um, and we're still keeping up with the Kamaje um, story and, and all of that. Um, the next court date is in January, January 17th, so I am keeping up with that. Yes. Um, but I also am keeping up with other gun violence stories that had to do have to do with any and everyone. So if you are a person that's watching, if you are a couch potato watching right now, wherever you are, and you would like to share your story about how gun violence affected you and your life, you are more than welcome to come sit on the couch or talk about it over the live. Just DM me and let me know that you want to do it. Um, it's, you said, I'm going to send it to you if the song's not recorded. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, okay. Understood. I'm okay, understood. Yeah. So, um... I love y'all. Yeah, and you know, I do got to say, mm -hmm. um, because I have mixed, you know, feelings about gun violence, because, you know, I have a gun tattooed on my forearm, you know what I'm saying, that I got gun charges, you know what I'm saying, because, I mean, I had it for protection. There was times when I did have to let off my weapon because of, of you know, action to a reaction, you know what I'm saying, not just like I was out there just looking for stuff, but people do, you know, a lot of the times put themselves in, in the way of, of getting, getting that put upon them. 
You know what I'm saying? So every bullet ain't for an innocent soul. But an innocent soul can always catch a bullet. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? Mm -hmm. An innocent soul can always catch a bullet, bro. That's mm -hmm. meant for the enemy. They said guns don't kill people. People with guns kill people. That's true. And niggas, niggas who can't motherfucking aim mm -hmm. want to take a goddamn me um, fucking Mac 11 with one hand mm -hmm. like they motherfucking Scarface or something out here like mm -hmm. playing the a back, game. The kickback damn near took them to the Playing ground. the game, don't even know how to use these weapons or half of this shit happening because motherfuckers don't know how to get hit their target, bro. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to hit their target. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it real. That's real. That's so real. They don't know how to hit their target. Somebody's daughter done died. Got a bullet in their eye through a house. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Innocent people like, get killed every day. And then we're stuck with the memories and the... Hit your target. They'll know, they'll know why you did it. You know, whoever it is, they may not know who did it. But, nigga, you know, you are who you are. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your legacy will precede you. The truth will come out. You know what I'm saying, and and you will be judged in the court of public really opinion. Shooting while scared. When you That's shoot, what I'm saying. Shooting when you while shooting scared, like that, you like uh, when you <laughs> shooting like uh, that, baby, for sure. No, every bullet should mean something. Yeah. Every motherfucking bullet gotta mean something, bro. <laughs> you can't if you don't are, do that. If you are picking up a gun, mean it and let it hit who is meant. Know to hit. this: <laughs> um, there are consequences to your actions. And if you really think that you about to shoot and get away with it, unless you ghost, you gonna bring power up in this bitch. <laughs> unless you Tommy. Oh shit! I just don't see. Yeah, somebody coming. The me. only thing I've seen is the first forty eights, as the result of what you've done. Y'all follow Couch Chronicles and No Limits on Spotify, Pandora, T H A Couch on Facebook, TikTok, and Big O. Couch Chronicles, dot no limits on Instagram and my main YouTube Instagram and my dot com, which is T-H-A, real J-A-N-E-L-L. -L. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube because this season is almost over. We're on the second season. Yeah. I'm going to say episode number 165. Shit. Episodes on episodes. Everybody, mm -hmm. you have an episode. When I start the next season, which I'm going to wait until next year, I'm only going to be streaming on Spotify, Pandora, Big O, and maybe just YouTube or Instagram. No, you got to keep the YouTube up because people, a lot of people usually just kind of go back and watch. That's the no, it's going it. on YouTube. It's going to yeah, be don't, on YouTube. Yeah, don't, don't I will post it after, it but to watch it live. Oh yeah, you can post it after on YouTube. To watch time. it live, you will only be able to watch it live if you're on Big, Big O. o. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or Instagram. Yeah. And I'm going to upload it to the YouTube and I'll send, a, I'll send a clip everywhere else. People get away with it doesn't make the violence of it any... Not at all. Oh, yeah. No, they don't. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. They don't. It says, yep, my brother was a mistaken idea. Exactly. See? Uh, you don't even know who the... Y'all over mm. here playing. You playing too much. You see? And, and, it, and it can be so simple like that. It, it has can, to be it a can rhyme be that or reason. Simple. When it's no reason, you can't pay for that. Mm. That's no payment. It's blood for blood at that yeah. point. You done broke a contract. Mm -mm. Y'all, if you know anybody that's suffering from breast cancer or um, a survivor, Pink. I want you guys to give them a hug. And I do, um, before we leave, I want to give, um, because tomorrow is the last day of, um, you know, uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I won't be wearing pink, but today is the last day I will be wearing pink. Um... Bugatti just answered. That's right, she sure did. Long live Kamaj. We, we love you. Gun Violence Day, you know what I'm saying? We let everybody yeah. know the next court date, and that was. Oh, wow. You said uh, January the 17th. Um, Mr. Back at it said, I hate to say it, but it, it's the music. Now, let me say this. That is a problem. And I did say this before that problem. the music that now, when the music that we put now, especially if it ain't real. Especially oh. if it's not you. If it's hypothetical, oh my God. Especially if it's like, oh well, I'm just saying, like, I would have. No, don't do that. Because the way you portray it is if you already did that. And you might not have would have. As if you're that person. Like, you in the club, you you performing this song, like, yeah, a bitch walk to me, I'm a punch in her pee. Pee, I'm gonna get a motherfucking seat. That, like, girl. <laughs> I never even seen you flip somebody off. 
Stop it. Well, and and dudes on stage talking about some. I got a gun in my back pocket. That's your phone. Please cut it out. You don't have a gun. You don't have nothing. Like stop that. Stop acting like you about to really pop off if somebody. No, because I've heard plenty of people call you the same people that's doing that a fucking bitch. So stop. Stop the capping and your rapping because you really affecting the youth. You affecting the younger generation. Not for the good. My mom died Not for, for the good, cancer, but for the bad. Mother. Man. Mm. Mm. I am so sorry. Rest in peace to your mother. Yes. Linda. Yes. It's, it's, so y'all have to really watch what you're saying. Yeah. And if you really feel like, and if you really say, oh, well, I would have. You need to say that at the end of your rap. At the end of your rap, when the song is about to be over, you're like, <laughs> it ain't a true story, but I would have did that. No, I did that like what? Things may be appear bigger than they actually are. You feel me? But don't be doing all of that acting as if you really that person. You influencing somebody. Somebody might think you real. And then somebody you might got, buy into then, that. Bro, and then somebody you got buying into Yeah, it. because you really, you're a good actor. Somebody's buying into that. You're a good actress. Well, if you believe that you would have, you it's believable. If you truly believe in your heart that you really yes. would, and you'll get up there and you'll be like, you gonna put your soul in it. So somebody yeah. might take that for some truth, cause they know that they woulda, and they finna go show you. Yeah, and yeah now they triggered yeah. for real, cause it, it, and y'all really be up on stage like, yeah, I'm sipping wine and I'm killing all the time, and I'm what? Well, I can handle some wine now, but killing all the time, like no. you've never even killed a roach. If you did, you probably wouldn't. Well, yeah, unless you're a drill rapper and you want to go to jail, then you'll you'll, you'll drill about it. Mm -mm -mm. But it's it's <laughs> at least said thank you. Please stop. You know it's 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 the it's it's not even about that. I don't want to hear that you lying. It's about I don't want to hear you lying to these kids, making them think it's cool to do this, and it's not. And even if you have, you had your reasons. It's not the same reason as the next motherfucker gonna have. Or some of y'all like, oh, well, I had a dream that I did that. Okay, well, say that at the end of your song. <laughs> no, for King real. Say that, that at the end of your song that you had a dream. Martin Luther King, that shit. Yeah, you can even put it in the telephone voice. For real. Do that because we we, we tired of it. It's entertainment, so it's like... Uh, entertainment. True. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, just like Booty Hole Brown puts True. the True, yeah, cool. you damn right. And then Megan Thee Stallion over here getting her bachelor's while you niggas over here like... Hey, That's Megan. cool, but you Megan Thee Stallion said? also got right. shot in the foot, didn't she? She, she did. Or did she not? I mean, she's. I mean, that's, that story is a little bit leery to me because nobody's still talking about the fact that she came out the damn truck butt ass naked. Nobody is still talking about that. Like why? Why? But, but whatever. We thought into that though. That's for another show. Yeah. That's for another show. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to take off work for that one. That's for another yeah. show. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. So y'all just please, this year that's coming up, it's cool. You got all these other songs. I'm not saying take them down, but the next year that's coming up, be real. Be as real. Rap in the moment. And transparent as possible. If you're a mother and you are working very hard as a single mom, rap about that. You know how many single moms would relate to that? I'm serious. If you are a, um, a, a guy that they baby mama keep on doing all type of weird ass shit, Rap about that. You know how many guys is going through that same shit? A lot. A lot. Y'all think that the situations that you're going through, that nobody would be like, oh, I'm about to listen to that. Yeah, they would. They don't really want to hear the pussy hoes, brown booty hoes, yeah. shooting hoes, killing dogs, or you whatever the fuck y'all talking about. You that you listen to called Dance with the Devil by, like, uh, what's his name, yeah. Immortal Technique or something like that? No. Bro. People really want to hear about real it's life, real shit, life shit. And some people listening to your shit, like, they love you, but they know that you capping. Love you, bro. Love you, too. They know that you capping, but they support you, and they know that you lying. And they support you because they capping, too. <laughs> they riding on the cap. So all I'm saying is this. I dare you to make a song about a real fucking situation. Not a make-believe or something that you think that you got to do or 
something that you had a dream about, like no, they need to rap about remix rap of kids about. song. Yeah, they used to back in the day though. They used to have that. Like, what is that? The white folks used to have kids bop. Yeah, they used to take all the R and B and and put it on that kids real. record. They used to be like, um, I'm a survivor. I'm not gonna get. Yes, Remember that? And I they do. used to be on a little pink CD yes. and shit. What was yeah, it, it was, it was a, a team bop. Team bop. Yeah. yeah, and they had kids bop too. Listen, bruh, they was I'm not saying that. I'm not saying do teen or kids yeah. bop. All I'm saying is this: just I real. dare you to, if your baby mama's stressing you out, I dare you to rap about that. If your baby daddy's stressing they you out, I dare you to rap about that. If 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 you ain't got your taxes back. In six to seven months, I dare you to rap about that. I bet you it's a motherfucker that's going through the same shit. Me? Okay. <laughs> I need my 10 G's. <laughs> For real. It's so many people that's probably, you You just think that they're not going to relate. No. We, we going to feel that. Put yeah. that shit into some motherfucking words and put it on a beat. And I promise you that shit going to go more viral than you talking about shooting a motherfucker and you ain't never shot nothing. Yeah, the ones Talking who did, having you know, gun, they might relate. And all you have they was gonna a relate. gun. I got a few songs in my album, you know what I'm saying, that they, people be like, what? 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 Why you got this in the playlist? This everything in my, everything that I've sung, sapped, rapped, whatever, in my music is all. There's receipts. <laughs> real. I got receipts for everything in my music. My music is is a part of me. You You get a piece of my journal. Anytime you listen to my music, that's a page out of my journal. That shit is real. That shit is real life shit that I've been through. That shit is real life shit that I go through. So I urge you, artist, be as real as possible. That you ain't gotta even do it tomorrow. You can wait till next year. New beginnings. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, let them know the downside of, of trying to be out there too. Cause... But promoting gun violence. You but know... promoting. Killing in your music, especially if you're really not about that life, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. Now, if you really about that life and you're doing that, just realize that you're going to get a RICO charge and you're going to be just like uh, Young Thug. Did he get released? He's supposed to be. Um, he's on his way. You know, right. Like but you think, but, but they do got you a think, couple of them out there. But do you think that he wanted to go through all of that? Book? You know how long wow. he's been in there? Waiting? Don't nobody want to sit in no jail or no prison and wait because a motherfucker heard their lyrics about something that they had a dream of doing. I just want to know, uh, you think they respect him enough to not, you know, try to blackmail him for his life? Well, they haven't so far, so I would that have we to heard? say, yeah, that we heard. It says, hate to say it, but if we talk positive, they won't market that. In order to be positive, you have to be have a yeah. little money to market yourself. The industry is against that advancement of the black man. Now, let me say this. That's Before, the blueprint. Hold on. Let me say this, though. That's the blueprint. Let me say this. It says, hence the type of music they allow to be marketed. Okay, I will say this. I've been making the same music since I got out of prison. And my sales have not been like Cardi B's. But since I started my podcast, my sales have went up tremendously. Because there are people that are watching that really, really want to hear that real fucking shit. You just have to keep being consistent. I don't give a fuck about a market. I don't give a fuck about how much money you got to put behind yourself. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Consistency is fucking key. I kid you not. I'm a, I'm a, I promise you, it's plenty of times where I could have took a deal. It's plenty of times where I could have been... I, I promise you, I've turned every single one of them down because I want to do this. I want to show y'all that it can be done. I don't give a fuck how long it's taken. I don't. But guess what? I've seen progress within since I'm within this year. But you know what? When he said, hence the type of music they allow to be marketed. Let yeah. me tell you something right now. <clears throat> when you go to Walmart, when you go to Target, you you that's what you're hearing? Mm-mm. When you ask somebody quinceanera, that's what you're hearing? Mm-mm. When you at the Bar Mitzvah... That's what you're hearing? That's not that's not what they're playing, bro. When you at the church social, that's not what they're playing, bro. The, the motherfuckers with money, that's not what they're playing. I promise you that. The that's other rappers are playing other rappers with money. People, y'all don't know my story. That's why people have been trying to get me to release my story, baby. That shit is real. Yes, yeah, it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to understand who's marketing. Like, like they playing Justin Bieber, nigga. Everywhere you go, you hearing Usher. You hearing Love in this club. You hearing all this old shit because yeah. they know what the fuck they're talking about to get everybody listening to their music, nigga. Yes. 
Exactly. You, 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 y'all are marketing to the people who want to And then you, and then y'all, and cool. let me tell you something. That market that you're, that same market that you're talking about. You need to about, go to the money market. That's pop. That's hip hop. Listen. There's a pop in there. Hip hop pop. <laughs> listen. Hip hop pop. Sure. That's what that it is. That same market. It ain't MC. That's MCing. not the market. That's not the same. That's not the market that has longevity. Yeah. MC. The music with longevity that's still going to be playing years and years from now, guess what? It's not going to be sexy right Nigga, now. they still playing Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's not. No, for real. They still playing Aerosmith, nigga, y'all. They still, these niggas They still playing die. motherfucking Britney Spears. They, the old shit. What are you talking about? God damn. They playing the Backstreet Boys. On, they on tour right now. Laughing at y'all. So, and listen. Think about longevity when you make music. And also, listen. Bugatti did say this, though. Speaking, and this is pertaining to gun violence as well. Everybody needs to get a bag and put it on life insurance for all of your children yes. and yourself. Oh my God! Yes. Put it, put you the life insurance know what on. My, life my wife, oh. I, we are insured. Kill me, motherfucker! And it's a long line. You ain't gonna get nothing. But my wife gonna be good. She gonna be good. She's worth more dead than alive too. For me, Gosh. shit. <laughs> Stop! But I'm just saying, insure your kids yeah. and yourself and your person. Definitely. And a motherfucker be less likely to kill you, nigga, because somebody about the game, because they not. Mm-hmm. Especially the police, the police would be less likely to to kill a black person if they was fucking insured. You had a fucking card on your motherfucking lapel that said "I'm and insured." It's sad. Bitch. It's sad. They but won't. they actually look at that. Yes, to give another black person a million dollars, they gonna see. Oh shit, we finna lose the country. You will. You'll yeah. lose the country. As much as we kill each other, and as much as they kill us. Oh my all the ones God! All you families all gonna the be ones rich. That's killing Everybody them, killing themselves or killing get others. Get some money. They don't have insurance on themselves. Get some money though. So you think the police? They don't get give some a money. Fuck. Get the life. There are insurance. some that do give a fuck. Insure those white folks. They don't get when they're Bradley died last night, but the. One point two million dollars is in the bank. Yeah, because the I insured they and, asked, and, yep. and we'll be able to keep living, Susie. We'll be keep. We'll be able to have something for our daughters. And yeah, mm-hmm. get like it. You understand? Every life and, should and be I worth will say something. This, if you're on food stamps and you're watching this, insurance is free. Free. Insurance. You is can free. get a policy. They'll pay on in it. Just do it. Do the research. All you gotta do is do the research. You can get so many free things just by being on food stamps. So just know that if your loved one get capped. Or something accidentally happens to them, let them know they have a legacy though now. There's something that you can do in their name. You understand what I'm saying? So all the losses won't be just like, well, we gotta come out of our pocket. We need to pay the funeral expenses. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be, well, we're gonna pay the funeral expenses. Mm-hmm. And then um Larry, he wanted us to open up um a, a casino. We're gonna get with those Indians over there. We're gonna put our little money that we get mm-hmm. from Larry's insurance. We're gonna go partner with them exactly. and go get a casino and call it Larry's Casino. Mm-hmm. You know, why not? Exactly. Why not? We'll own this bitch. Exactly. We'll own this bitch. Let's do it. Exactly. Hell, we can't help the killings. We nope. can't. Let's let's get get paid. Hell, leave and your family with something. You know you out here in these streets. The, who said gangbangers can't have insurance? It's just y'all choosing not to. Go on, get y'all on life insurance, nigga. It's y'all choosing not. Y'all to. Your whole family gonna be motherfucking millionaires. Mm-hmm. Now, um, before we wrap it up, I do want to do um, a self-breast exam for the last... Right, uh, Tomorrow's the last day. Oh, of, yeah. Um, I seen y'all doing it one time at, at work, and I had it on the computer. Everybody was like, what? <laughs> all the dudes, we was all like... <laughs> <laughs> so, what I do is I put my arm behind my my back, or in my head, and I try to touch my shoulder, okay. my other shoulder, as much as I can. On the opposite side? Yeah. Okay. And I take my spirit fingers, which this is what this is. Okay. And I start from under my arm. Okay. And, you know, I just go all the way around, and I even go down to my ribs a little bit, and then up, you know, towards the middle. Well, I don't really have much, so do I got to go that low? No. Okay. No. So, you know, you just do it all the way around, and you're feeling for lumps, any, you know, any anything different that... And to, I always say this, but I say do it before and after your period. You know, you want to make sure that you know what's going on with your body. You want to say, you want to know your body, you know. And it's not a mammogram. It's not a mammogram. That's a self-breast exam. I urge you to get a mammogram, you know, especially if breast cancer runs into you, in your family. It runs in my family young, so I started getting mammograms young. 
Um, don't be afraid to get a mammogram. Even men, don't be afraid to get yourself checked out either. You know, get yourself checked out. Love yourself. Love your body. Um, and keep yourself healthy. Keep yourself healthy. I know yeah. a lot of us want to live long. You live long by eating healthy. You, love, you live long by taking care of yourself. And even your mental has something to do with Your beer agent has live. to be good quality, y'all. Mm -hmm. You, It has to be good quality. Everything has to be of the utmost quality for you to be able to live long, mm -hmm. naturally. Straight Definitely. Up. I definitely appreciate all my couch potatoes for being on the couch with me today. I love y'all. And wifey, thank you so much for being on the couch. It was my pleasure, baby. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, shit. That's bonding me. What's Who, who Ooh. did that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, <laughs> y'all, it's the Couch Chronicles. Where that? Ain't, Ain't no, no fucking, fucking limits. limits. I love y'all. And I will see y'all tomorrow with my guests. It's going to be Halloween. So if you're dressing up. Dress up tomorrow. Straight up. Do I'll see y'all on the couch. Thanks. I love you guys. Ew. God. Big ol'. Mm -hmm. Nigga.